John, you're very close to people in Calgary. You got family in Calgary, as do I. We're hearing not the best things about the Grey Cup, just that it's it's not hyped. And Jermaine just said it. I mean, but you know more than me. You talk to people out there more than I. Very do. indifferent. They don't feel it's that big a show. They're going to stay at the at the stadium. They're going to fill the stadium. No additional seats uh, offered in the saddle dome or in special tents or seating around the stadium like we think you're supposed to do. They're going to be satisfied with a capacity of 36,000. They figure they'll make a lot of money if they fill the 36,000 seats. And I have to say, yeah, you probably will. But the reason for the additional seats wasn't money. It was to let people enjoy the ceremony, get involved in the atmosphere. Diehard fans who maybe can't afford season tickets or regular game tickets get a chance maybe to get a seat there in one of the uh, stands outside or the side as as the stadiums increase. We've been doing it everywhere we've gone. Increasing stadiums by 15 or 20,000 seats. And they don't want to do it in Calgary at all. Uh, These excuses are just that they're too damn lazy, I think, to do anything. Well, <laughs> I can't say whether you're right or wrong. We'll see if this Grey Cup will sell out. I, I was a little concerned last year with the Edmonton Grey Cup, and lo and behold, you turn on your television on Grey Cup Sunday, there's 61,000 people at Commonwealth Stadium. It looked amazing, because I never stay for the game anymore, just go for Grey Cup week itself. So uh, we got a couple months to go till the game. It's probably going to depend who's there. If the riders somehow find their way in it, you know that the place is going to sell out. Sean has written in and says, I looked at Grey Cup tickets today. Lot are left, but nothing below $300. It's way too expensive this year for that crap stadium. So this is what the fans are saying. And most seats don't even have backs. I know that's what most people complain about there. I mean, it's an ancient place. Built in 1968 by the McMahon Brothers Construction in three months. Okay. Uh, Kyle Halverson writing it on Facebook and say Frenz- says Frenzy's got the Devon Claybrooks headphones on. And that's a little crooked. You, you want to pull those off? Uh, Frenzy, we don't need them anymore. Uh, but thanks, by the way, to Dustin Nielsen and Jermaine Franklin of TSN for helping us out on the program here on Hour One. Uh, TSN has been a huge supporter of this program in its infancy into episode number 78 of the program. Maybe that's why Craig Smith, and you've worked with other CFL teams, Ticats, Bombers, Lions, besides the riders that's everybody right four yep. teams yep. is that why everybody hates the riders because the league selfishly and silently does want the riders in every great cup because they know it'll sell out and make the festival a success is that an underlying i don't think thing? so i don't think so I, I i think that uh i think there's a lot of people out there that uh and, and me included when i was away from the riders you know, I didn't have a hate for writers, but obviously when I was in Winnipeg, when I was in BC, obviously there was, there was something there. But I always respected the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. I always respected the organization. I respected the, the, the well, this is me talking, you know, I'm not, I don't you know. You don't speak for everybody, yeah. Yeah, I, I respected all what was to do with regards to, you know, whether it was Shivers or whether it was, you know, uh, a, a, anybody else. But, uh, you know, there, there's a possibility that there's people out there that are, uh, they may be a little jealous with regards to, hey, this this place gets after their team, and uh, it, it's a it's a it's a great thing. You think about all uh, all the people from all over the place. No matter where you go, you know, go to Saskatoon, all these outlying areas that you know that our guys would go and take the Grey Cup to. I mean, it, it's pretty fascinating. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I think Winnipeg, it, it, it it's not quite the same but they've got a really good fan base as well they love their their bombers they're a tremendous fan base yeah, but it, it is all jealousy there's no two ways about that yeah. that part if they don't like the riders it is jealousy yeah. of course however i also get it i'll never forget the 2010 gray cup i've told this story many times on the radio on my old show i'll tell it now because we have a bunch of new viewers and listeners as you know, on the Thursday Grey Cup week, the East Division team has a breakfast with the media and the West Division team has a lunch with the media or Vice or either or either whatever way, it yeah. is. And Mark Kohan came in. I guess it was the luncheon with the West Division team because Kohan comes in. There's this podium. Mark Kohan was the commissioner at the time. And a little table beside the podium and he sets the Grey Cup on it. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. Were, you, were, they, were you with us in 2010? Yeah. He's like... Yeah. I'm just so damn happy the Rough Riders are here in this Grey Cup because all the Grey Cups are so much better when Saskatchewan's in it. So way to go, Riders. And I'm like, you can't say that. I, I love the fact that you're saying it right now, but you can't say that. That's something. And, and the odd thing is, 
in the back of the room, and you've been at these lunch lunches, is Terry Jones of the Edmonton Sun, oh, yeah. and Steve Simmons from the Toronto yeah. Sun, and all these guys. I'm like, oh, he there, he's just gonna get roasted. Oh yeah, they're ready to jump. They didn't say a word about it. Wow. And I think it's because it was the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they even they didn't even make an issue of it. Yeah. So the point now again, that was in the Kohan era. Maybe the league office isn't pulling for the Riders to make the Great Cup, but no. I mean, I, Mark Cohan's dog's name's Ryder, for God's sakes. I think it was pretty evident, John, around the league that Mark Cohan was a Ryder fan because he knew what was good for business. He sure did. He was a great Ryder fan, man. He was terrific. Yeah. I think maybe deep down inside, some of the CFL are thinking, man, if, if the Riders are there, this is going to be pretty good. Well, I'm yeah. constantly harassed by those Calgary people, but Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans, as you know, yeah. what they do in Calgary. The latest They're, one was on the weekend when they said they saw that guy in the fan in the stands with a combine on his head. Combine hat. <laughs> Just, you know, there, there's good. There's a good fan base in Edmonton. There's a good fan base in Calgary. Sure. BC's a little little shaky, but uh, you know, I'll never forget that Grey Cup. At halftime, I went in. Which one? The the 2010. Went in at halftime, and I said, Brendan, we're up by three. We're up by three in the Grey Cup. Of course, we lose by three. Killer. 21 18. 2013. I go into my office, take my my uh, parka off, go into Brendan's office, say. It's 31 to 6, Brendan, at the half. We're up 31 to 6. You know, I mean, it was... It, it was over. It was so sad in 2010, but it was so great in 2013. You know, just, yeah, just a great, great... One of the best days of my life. Yeah, but, 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 but... And we're running out of time in hour one. We'll carry this over into hour two. Lynch, I know who you're talking about in Calgary. Yeah. yeah by the yeah. initials of JJ. That's right. And <laughs> I remember you and me and him were out for breakfast at Smitty's on a Ryder game day in Regina in the Southland Mall. And it had a sandwich board out in the hallway and it said, Ryder game day breakfast, $9, you know, four sausages, three bacon, blah, 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 <laughs> five eggs, three. And he goes, well, look at this. We don't have this in Calgary. And we're like, you can't put on a breakfast in Calgary? A stampede and road? You don't have it. Yeah. Because people work their asses off for this. Yeah. Doesn't just happen. No, nope. that's sure. all. And I, I, I also get the, uh, the angst in Calgary because they don't have what the riders have. But that's how much are they trying? Not that's, too bad. Not too much. They, they, I believe they should try more. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of the Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.